Hey everyone, this is a, another quick uh, tutorial on how to do some uh, basic addition and multiplication in a C++ program here. Um, I'm going to just uh, start a new project here really quick and uh, I'm just going to call it uh, Math Stuff. That's what I'm going to call it. <coughs> Um, this tutorial will just kind of give you a quick rundown. This is a Win32 application. I'm using uh, Visual Studio 2013 uh, Professional. So if you're using other versions, there may be a couple other different minor adjustment features as far as uh, IntelliSense and things like that. But uh, there will be no visuals, all console output. So um, so yeah, let's uh, let's get started. So. First thing you need to do here is uh, we need to include our I.O. stream. And uh, we also need to include our namespace, std. And so there we go. So, all right. So we included the, basically we include the ability to read and write to the console. This is, includes the... Uh, file headers and this includes the class library in which allows us to read and write to the console application so all right so uh in the very beginning tutorial uh one of the first ones i talked about some doubles and some floats and um if you're unfamiliar with that just uh i'll go through it briefly basically integers doubles and floats are uh, are numerical data types. Uh, that's the only data types that you can store in there. Doubles and floats, uh, you can store precision um, very uh, numbers, and that means decimals uh, up to uh, numerous uh, values. Um, however, integers can only store whole values. So, and uh, each one has its limit to <coughs> how large it can be as well. So, um, as far as memory allocation, so which is uh, a big thing in C++. So getting started here real quick then, um, I'm going to declare a uh, two integers. I'm going to say int first number. I'm going to set it equal to two. We'll just do a basic. And I'm going to declare another number, second number equals uh, two. No, I'll, I'll do a different number. That way we can clearly see that there are two different vari variables and values. So. And like any or variable that you declare, you always declare the data type, and then you declare the variable name, and then it is uh, optional at that point uh, if you want to assign it or not. This is the assignment operator, the equal sign. In this case, I assigned first the variable integer uh, first number equal to 2, and the variable uh, integer variable second number equal to three so all right so let's uh, let's get through this so real quick let's um, let's display each of these on their own and then I will display the sum of the two uh, for in a couple different ways so starting with this let's use C out we're going to display something on the console so C out going out to less than signs um, and let's say the first number is, and first number, and line. C out, I'll do actually right here. The second number is, second number. Okay. And let's just display those two for right now. All right, and you can see that it did. It displayed them on two separate lines. The first number is two, which we displayed in our code. First number, Ooh, excuse me, it's pretty late. Uh, and the second number is three, and that's our variable we displayed here, second number. And so we now have just two basic displays so we know what each of these integer values are. So first, let's uh, let's display this and the sum of these in one way. Uh, the first way, we're just going to uh, store them into a, a another variable, and I'm just going to call it int sum. And 
this is this is where uh, mathematical operators can kind of kind of uh, come in handy here. So I'm going to say first number plus second number. Second number, and that's it. And now the variable sum, the integer variable sum, is equal to the first number plus the second number. So, and those are my two variables. Two variables. So, and then let's do, let's let's display sum. So C out the sum of the two is sum. C out, the sum of the two is display my variable sum, the, which is equal to the total, right? All I did was I put a plus sign. That's all, you know, that's all it was. It's, you know, it's, you know, we're not standing on our heads here. It's pretty simple. You know, you just add these two variables together and we're good to go. So let's give that a run. And there we go. All right, so... Once again, it uh, displayed like we wanted to earlier. Uh, the two numbers. And then it displayed the sum of the two, because our sum value is 2 and a 3 added together, which is uh, 5. So, pretty simple, pretty cool, pretty sweet. It didn't uh, didn't take a lot of work to do that. Now what if uh, now what if I want to add uh, some doubles together? What if I wanted to do that? Huh? And okay. Now all I did here was uh, I just changed my data types, right? I just changed them. Uh, I just changed them all to doubles. So nothing crazy, nothing fancy. So now let's try running it. Does anything change? Nope, everything is still the same. The first number is 2, the second number is still 3, and the sum of the 2 is still 5. So nothing has changed, but uh, now I have the freedom to add decimals together too. So, and let's do 3.2, 3.3, I guess. 3.3, <laughs> because that's where my finger landed on the keyboard. That's <laughs> that's where the value is going to be. So, there we go. All right, so, and uh, I guess it's pretty simple to see that way, too. That worked out fine. So the first number is 2.001. Uh, there it is, 001, uh, the end there. And then we have the second number is equal to 3.3. Uh, pretty nice, pretty pretty good. But uh, so adding these things is pretty simple, and, and subtracting them is, is probably just as easy. Um, all it is is a subtraction sign instead. And uh, actually, uh, this will turn out to be a negative number. And yes, you can do that in programming. That is okay. So this will be a nice way to see that. And we got negative 1.299. Um, and you can do negatives for any number. Floats, doubles, or integers as well. So it allows it for any one of those. Um, so 2.001. The second number is 3.3, .3, subtracts those two, negative 1.299. And if you really want to be sure and you want to punch that in the calculator, you can go for that. Uh, pause the video or do whatever whatever makes you comfortable. So, And finally, um, multiplication is an asterisk. And that's uh, Shift-8 uh, for a U.S. standard keyboard. I don't know what everybody else has, but... Uh, it's just a little asterisk is all it is. So it's multiplying the first number times the second number. And uh, we'll run that. And there we go. 2.01, 3.3 uh, multiplied together is 6.6033. And once again, you can, you can always check that if you want. But, um, you know, always displaying the sum. You know, and all I'm doing is I'm just changing this. You know, everything else we already coded, you know, it's pretty simple. Um, all I'm doing is I'm changing this one little, what's called an operator. I'm just changing this one little thing here. And finally, you know, you have uh, division. And we can divide the two as well. So, take a look at that. And there you go, 0 0.60636.
4. So that means that the first number is 2.01, the second number is 3.3. 3, so, and there you go. So, uh, those are just four uh, simple mathematical ways you can do to couple different numbers. Um, a quick thing to show you um, if I had this as an int, um, first thing we learned in the very first tutorial is this is going to trunk do what's called truncation. It's going to drop these decimals. It's not. It's going to lose what's called precision, and it's just going to become two. And actually, what will happen is uh, is uh, sorry again, it's yawning so much. Um, uh, the first number uh, will just be 2. So it should just be 5.3 is what it should be. And let's just uh, let's just run that to find out here. And yep, you, yeah, that's what that was right. So I dropped the precision because it was an integer, even though we can declare it as a uh, decimal. It's kind of silly that way, but uh, just drops that precision and uh, you get a whole, uh, a real number out of it, a whole number, uh, a whole number out of it. So, so yeah, that's just a quick little uh, tutorial on how to do mathematical addition, subtraction, multiplication, and uh, and uh, so yeah. All right. Well, thanks a lot for watching.